new recruit? Yes, I have a new recruit. Deputy Barry Cowan has a question at the end. Uh, with your would permission of the House. Within the 10 minutes. Yes. Minister, I visited the site today with my colleagues, and it's, as I said last week, it's a black hole in the ground. There's nothing even that height out of the, out of the 15 metre depth yet. So it's not uh, what you're telling us all. I'd say 80 million is spent on it, it's a lot. Minister, in December 2018, you welcomed the announcement by the European Investment Bank of its decision to provide a loan of 490 million euro to Ireland to support the construction of the new children's hospital and associated outpatient. This is the, you said. This is the EIB's largest ever single capital loan in Ireland, and the loan represents almost half of the one billion euro, which we know now as exchequer investment required to develop the care hospital and the two outpatient and alternate care centres. Securing this long-term loan finance from EIB will reduce the overall interest cost to the state financing the new children's hospital and centres. Clearly, nothing of this kind has happened in terms of a reducing cost minister. Can you tell us what the interest rate for the loan was, the cost of the repayments to date, and if you are considering going back uh, to the European Investment Bank to request another loan? Uh, what happened to the 200 million that you got from the sale of the national uh, lottery? Where has that gone as well? So this hole gets bigger and deeper and deeper. Yeah. And can I just ask then, have you, um, you PwC, and I'm mentioning just naming them, they have no construction experience. Will you not bring in a construction expert from Switzerland or someplace outside the country that's not connected to any of the people mentioned, BAM or anybody else? Colleagues of time. Yes. Minister Phrase in relation to the funding that we have from EIB, I don't have that information. If the information you know, is publicly available and we can share it with the deputy, I will write to him with us. In relation to have we went back and looked for a further loan for the EIB for the project, the answer to that question is no, we haven't. Um, it's my view that uh, uh, we know how much extra money is currently needed available for the project and should have been, it should be made available from the Exchequer. Thank you. And in relation to the specific services question that Deputy McGrath uh, raised about just being a hole in the ground, as I already said, you, you may not have been in the House, uh, I think you said 80-something million had been spent on the project, 234.64 million had been spent. Sorry had been spent as, as at the end of 2018, and far from this project just being a whole... Debbie, if you don't want, listen, Mr. Harris, just leave, but if he doesn't want the answers, then... Yeah, but Debbie, it, Danny Healy, yeah, well, I'm I, sure I, you want to put in the... I, I want to put the answers, because there's actually, there's actually, there's actually, there's actually, there's actually parents uh, who would like Harris. to know about how these services are going to affect their children, uh, rather than rhetoric. Mm -hmm. 235,000,000.624 million point six two four has already been spent by the end of 2018, and far from just being a hole in the ground, Deputy McGrath, part of this hospital facility at Connolly, which I do hope you visit, will actually open this summer to start serving our children. The X-ray facilities were, visit were delivered to that facility only this week. Thank you.